Welcome back to Game On. Today it is magician versus game designer, or more accurately, magician versus person who doesn't really like magic. I'm Tom Scott. I'm David Bodicum. It is Stephen Bridges versus Hannah Nicklin, and they are playing Weighted War. They've got uh, cards from 1 to 11 in their hands, and there are cards from 1 to 11 on the table. The table cards are going to get turned up one at a time, they're going to have a number of points on them, and they bid by playing a card from their hand. Whoever has the highest bid gets those points, and those cards go away. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's reading your opponent. It's, it's hand management. Yep, and it, you can't think too far ahead because we've actually taken away one of those yellow cards. So it doesn't even help. If you can memorise everything that's down there, you're not going to have perfect knowledge. Not quite. All right, let's see how they do. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, so this is a number nine. Cheeky number nine. It's a, it's a high card to start off the game. <laughs> Early sucking out. It's what he does. He's, he's a magician and mentalist. I'm good. I picked a really high number. Because <laughs> it's a nine. Because you're really... I mean, I'm, I'm, so if I were you, I'd either waste this or two. You think I'm going to believe a single thing that you tell me? <laughs> okay, I picked a really low number. <laughs> They've done mathematical analysis on this, and they found that the correct card to play at any point was the same as the number that you're bidding for. But once you've done that a couple of times, your opponent's going to notice. Yeah, and I'll, they're going to bid one higher. Yeah, obviously there is a counter strategy to that, but yeah. that's what they say. Happy? Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow. He was telling the truth. Yeah. Number seven. Number three. Serious business. What you want to do here is lose by as much as possible when you give away a card. That's it. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with this. Because if you spend all those points, then don't get it. You're in a much worse position. Yeah, I mean, some people prefer to play their low cards at the start of the game so that they know how much work they have right, to do Right, so, that, so that's a perfect play by Hannah there. Yep. A five. Cheeky number there. Second number is called um, cheeky. For five. I'm struggling. I think I've got it. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Six. Ah. He keeps going for one above. Yeah. Which is great, but he's going to run out of higher numbers later. So twice you've played one higher than the value of the card. Yeah, that's a pattern. Mm -hmm. okay, I think and she spotted it. <laughs> so is he going to do seven this time? Three, two, one. No. Interesting. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> she went with eight. She went with eight. She, she thought she was, yeah. was going to do seven. That was a solid win. Despite the fact he just pointed that out <laughs> as a strategy, he's good at Easy. psychology. Keep it nice and low, yeah? Don't want to waste a high number on a two. I mean, he's right. I do actually want to swear at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Happy days. Ooh. Enjoy. Oh, gave it to me. Notice that we've given the contestants 11 cards, but because there's only... 10 yellow cards, oh, one yeah. of them is never ever going to get used. So there's no point in playing the one. There's no point in using the one. And now the 11. Oh, oh, she's playing for the 11. Oh, this is what she's going for. So do you bid as high as possible on this? I think if you've already played some of your high cards, then you haven't got the height, the firepower to keep going, so maybe bid low. If we both say put down an 11, would that just be like, oh, no one wins it? Yeah, and then we roll it over, and then you've played your 10, but I haven't, so I would definitely win. Oh, so then we go again for the 11? Yeah, no, we go for the 11 and the one underneath it. So at this point, I've definitely won both cards. Don't say that! <laughs> oh, okay. Really? Emma's exactly right, she should not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's right, she's definitely won it. <laughs> but she's now said that out loud, so... Well, yeah, we're good. Oh! Okay, that was the best play you could do, and I probably shouldn't have told you. <laughs> I was aware. He wasn't aware. There's no way he was aware of that. You're winning now. Yeah, I know. I think the little trick was missed there. Yeah. Hannah could have got away with a lower number. Mm. So now it's even. So we've got 20 plays 20 at the minute. It's very close. I mean, this could theoretically go to a tie, right. depending on what numbers are yeah, removed. Hurt. He just magician her a bit. <laughs> he didn't need to do that. He knew exactly what he was doing. I'm, I'm actually genuinely immune to magic. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, my wizard spells aren't working. All right. Congrats. Ooh. That was a perfect play. Okay. That's exactly right. He's wasted all those points and got nothing for them. But they've both used their one, so... And he's wasted points again. Mm. Is this the last one? Mm-hmm. So what, oh, because we've got, oh, God, yeah. Damn it, didn't think this through at all. Excuse me? This has gone to a tie. Ooh, yes, so that's uh, a... 28 each. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Sorry. They drew. <laughs> that was fun. What was your last card? Uh, six. And I was at nine. So I just played that wrong there because I forgot that there was one less. I was like, oh, save this back. We go to a shootout, basically. We, we go to uh, a five card version of this with, yeah. uh, with five random numbers between one and seven. And we see who takes this. Mm. Okay, well, it's good. That. He's thrown away the card, but he's not spent much on it. No. <laughs> There's a way that this could play, which is uh, amusing. I'm not going to tell you how it played because we you know. Just in case you educate me. Yeah, I figured yeah. that would happen. Yeah. A bit more varied. There we go, she's learned. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. that's high. So that means we're going to roll over that five to the next round. So we're now playing for five and a two. This could go interesting. I've got the edge here. And they've both just used their five. They've only got one through five here in their hands, right? Yeah. Oh, a one. Um, has he got the edge? I'm not sure he has. He spent a five and a four to win seven points. Well, I mean, there might be a seven in the deck uh, later on. That's so. true. He's got rid of both of his high cards, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I don't think that yeah. was wise. He's in a command. If the seven isn't in the deck, that's great, but that's a risky strategy. <laughs> oh, cheeky two. There it is. Do you have above a three? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, she's Ooh. got it. Uh, she only needed two cards because the seven's oh, in there. No. Yeah, 11 versus 10, so she's won it. One, one point ahead, well done. <laughs> defeated. Absolutely defeated. I didn't see that coming. Mm. So that's it. Hannah is through to the final, but this wasn't an elimination match. Stephen is going to be playing Emma in the playoff to see who's going through to the final. What's the game? It's a game I've invented called Quiz Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> so this is general knowledge and... Mental dexterity. I bet Katie is going to be annoyed she's not in this one. <laughs> we'll see you next time.